Let's take a look at node port service. So node port allows you to expose a port for a virtual machine, a node running pods that the service is managing. And so the idea is this is what, a way we can get external traffic in. It's the easiest way to get a, a, a traffic in, but not necessarily the recommended way for production use cases. Uh, and over here, this looks a lot similar to our, cluster, our cluster IP manifest file, but here we're specifying node port and now it has um, this target port. So there is no external load balancer. So node port is intended for single Kubernetes service and for non-production workloads. Um, and since I have the diagram here, I'm just gonna quickly explain how these three ports work and then we'll go and look at a more verbose text description so that we just are we're very familiar with these three numbers. So node port is the port that you're exposing the node on, the machine, so that the traffic can reach it to. Port is the service port, so the port that you have to hit internally to reach the pods. And the target port is the port here that uh, is our application is listening on. So I wrote 8080, but this one says 80, okay? So just to reiterate, because it is kind of confusing and I just wanna give it some extra attention, port. Port exposes the Kubernetes service on the specified port within the cluster. Other pods within the cluster can communicate with the service on the specified port. Target port is the port on which the service will send requests to uh, that the pod will be listening on. Your application uh, in the container will need to be listening on this port also. Node port. Node port exposes a service externally to the cluster by means of the target, uh, uh, target node's IP address and node port. Node port is the default setting if the port field is not specified. So there you go.